Hi, Earth Angels. This is Jill Kempner, Angel Professional. Thank you so much for your beautiful Earth Angel patience with my um, Facebook Live today. I had to switch to my um, <clears throat> cellular service, so hopefully that'll work. I think the Wi-Fi is just, you know, it's Mercury retrograde. It's all divine. <laughs> <clears throat> so I want to welcome everyone who is going to be here live and everyone who's going to connect with this replay. Um, if you are new to my work, I served as a massage therapist and a yoga teacher for 20 years. Before evolving into this work I do today, before becoming an angel professional, as an angel professional, the focus of my work with my clients, with my coaching clients, with my students, is to help you heal your body, to heal any pain in your body, and whether that's physical or emotional pain, with the love of your angels. So I am so happy you're here today for this um, you know, free Facebook Live class about breaking the sacred promise. And <laughs> I was just listening to the angels for a moment. So we're just gonna tune in and really arrive in this moment. So uh, you can just take some cleansing breaths in and out. You can, if it's safe, you can close your eyes or if it, you know, you want to, you can soften your gaze or you can look at me. And as you breathe, really trusting you're exactly where you're meant to be. Feeling your body soul connection feeling your beautiful heart, connecting with and feeling your, your hips, your root chakra, as you send beautiful roots of light into the earth, through your legs, through the soles of your feet, into your earth star chakra, and all the way to the Andean emerald heart of the earth, to feel Mother Earth receiving you, your medicine, your love, your blessings, <clears throat> and then allowing your beautiful roots to connect with each other. Everyone here live, everyone who's going to connect with this replay. Hello, welcome. So all of your roots connecting with each other in a empowered, joyful, loving way, a compassionate way. And then connecting with the medicine of the earth, the crystals. Today I'm wearing malachite for aligning your will with divine will. All of the tree root medicine, all of the plant medicine, the ancestor medicine for you today. And this is creating this beautiful network of roots of light that helps you to release more and receive more. So with your roots in the earth, just let go. Release through your breath, through this beautiful root connection. Just letting go of any distractions, any frustrations, any burdens, any worries. I just feel like there's so much karma coming up with this Mercury retrograde time <laughs> and the solar eclipse time. So you're safe to let go into the earth and feeling Mother Earth's generosity, her abundance for transforming all of this, all that you release into love and compassion. And then in a holy instant, you can begin to receive, drawing up the healing energy of the earth from your angels, from your soul, Inhaling up your roots, up your legs, into your hips. Breathing up through your beautiful chakras, from the earth star, through your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown, all the way to the stellar gateway chakra. <clears throat> As you visualize a bubble of love and protection around you. So this, you, really you're visualizing your aura and then another layer of, of angelic light. And this is around you and everyone here. So we're creating this beautiful circle of light, this circle of love, this circle of empowerment that only pure love can penetrate. And we wanna invite your angels here. So placing your hands over your heart, the gateway of your angels love and welcoming your beautiful angels here. We welcome your angels and guardian angels, 
all of your master teacher guides. We welcome all of the archangels and ascended masters, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Metatron. We welcome, I'm feeling Hilarion, Green Tara, Mother Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe. We welcome all the divine healing beings who love you unconditional, uh, unconditionally to be here now. You are the keeper of your mind and body. And we welcome only those angels and guides that love you unconditionally. And with your hands over your heart, begin by stating your devotion. So either silently or out loud saying, I am devoted to receiving love from my angels. I'm feeling your heart open to your angels' love. And just for just a few breaths, just let yourself receive that love. Open up your awareness, your consciousness, your heart to this beautiful love that your angels are sending you. Taking a breath, receive, receive, receive. Hello, namaste. Hi, Gil. Just receive that love. Beautiful, as we open our, our class today with a namaste, bowing to each other, to your angels. Beautiful namaste, everyone. So happy, happy, happy Truthful Thursday. Happy Mercury Retrograde. Happy June. Um, <clears throat> and happy eclipse season, eclipse cycle, eclipse portal that we're in right now. So I'm so grateful that you're taking the time to, to be present here and, and to really let yourself receive the teachings um, from the first practice in my book. Um, my, the, my forthcoming book, Receiving from Your Angels. And so the when I was praying about this Facebook Live, I wanted to take some time to talk about breaking the sacred promise and, and what does that mean. And so the first practice in my book is, is renew your devotion. So remember my mission, right? My medicine is to help you relax and heal your body, to relax and heal pain and to relax and heal your body with your angel's love. And the first step, right? The first practice of really opening the flow of love that your angels are sending you is to renew your devotion. So I'm gonna talk about that, but the angels are, are, are leading the way. So they just gave me a divine guidance. So hello, welcome. So remembering that your angel, like everyone has angels, right? You have angels and everyone you love has angels. And, and the truth is that everyone's receiving love from their angels. You're receiving love from your angels and everyone's receiving love from your angels. The shift, is to consciously receive, to explicitly, to consciously receive this love. It's not like sometimes the angels are sending you love and sometimes they're not sending you love. They're always sending you love. And it's that shift of just consciously receiving love from your angels, that you're devoted, right, to receiving love from your angels um, to heal your body, to heal pain. Remember, your body is, oh my gosh, your body is the divination tool, right? Your body is the home of your soul and your angels are devoted to you. So this practice of renewing your devotion is saying to the, to God, to source, to the universe, I'm, I'm here, right? I trust you. I know that you're here. I know that you're sending me love and I want to receive that love, right? I want to I want to increase my ability to receive love from my angels. Love. You want to increase your ability to receive love from your angels. And we do that by renewing your devotion. So what is to, in my book, we talk about devotion. And I know that that word devotion can have a religious connotation, but when I talk about it in my book, I'm talking about it from, from a spiritual perspective. And what devotion means is 
really to have love, loyalty, and enthusiasm for a person, for a situation, for an activity. So it's this, this, um, this enthusiasm for receiving love from your angels. That's what devotion is. And it's really about connecting with the sacred within you and around you. So that when I use the word devotion, that's what I'm talking about. It's connecting with the sacred energy, the divine energy within you and around you. And really from this space of like, I am so, I'm so committed, right? So I'm so committed, I'm so devoted. And so what's been evolving with this practice for me, what I've noticed, what I've observed, hello, welcome, is that devotion is this sacred promise. It's a sacred promise that you make to yourself, right? That's what, that's what devotion is. It's the sacred promise that you are gonna stay in the flow of your angel's love, that you are gonna stay devoted, committed, aligned with your angel's love. That's, all, that's always there, right? The, thank you, hello. The, the love is always there, right? The love is, oh, and we know that, right? In spiritual truth, all there is is love, right? The, something that I said the other day when I was talking about my book is, hello, Lauren, hi, is, is um, good morning is that the fabric of the universe is unconditional love. And the angels, your angels are these bridges of light that are bringing in this divine love, right? They're messengers of God. Um, they're, they're messengers of love. They're bringing you, they're these beautiful bridges that connect your body and your soul to the divine, to the universe, to source. And that's their mission, right? Their mission is to, to, to fill you with their unconditional love and they're devoted to you. This is what I think is so awesome. And when we say that devotional prayer, I am devoted to receiving love from my angels, it allows you to receive your angel's devotion for you, God's devotion, source devotion <clears throat> to your healing journey, to your healing, to your enlightenment, to your awakening, um, while you're on earth, right? So as an earth angel, remember, I'm here to serve earth angels. As an earth angel, you are here. You, you created a sacred promise with yourself, with source, but it's more with yourself. It's first with yourself, yourself to be a channel of unconditional love, to embody the benevolence of the divine, to stay in the flow of your angel's love, right? Really, no matter what, right? In the face of any pain, any issue in the tissue, that you're devoted to receiving love from your angels, right? So that's what this first practice in my book is all about, you know, how to devote, um, you know, what devotion is, how to, how to make that, how to make that devotional, um, how to devote yourself to receiving your angel's love and why it's so important to talk about, I'm seeing what the else the angels are saying, why it's so important to talk about breaking the sacred promise, right? So we know that devotion is the sacred promise you make to yourself to receiving your angel's love. And you make, you, you know, you set this intention, you set that devotional, um, that devotion in your heart, and then you break the sacred promise, right? And basically breaking the sacred promise, there's many ways that we can talk about that, but breaking the sacred promise is any time that you experience pain or fear. And there's so many other, right? Pain, fear, stress, anger, anxiety, we can add all of that, right? We'll just say pain or fear to simplify it, right? So breaking the sacred promise of receiving love from your angels, right? Of embodying the benevolence of the divine, of being a channel of unconditional love is part of your human journey. Breaking the sacred promise is anytime you experience pain or fear. It's kind of that simple. And yet, of course, it's so deep. So you commit yourself, you devote yourself to being a channel of the of your um of love from your angels, right? Of of taking and the other part about devotion, thank you for reminding me of this angels, is really this devotion 
to taking care of yourself, to taking care of your physical body and your energy body, that you're devoted to, to cherishing yourself, to cherishing your body. And this isn't a, um, this isn't selfish or self-serving. Um, you know, when you receive, when you become this beautiful angel receiver of unconditional love, that's what you give. That's what you share. That's that's what you emanate out into the world. So receiving it for your, it literally was just my Course in Miracles meditation today, literally just talked about this. So there's a huge synchronicity for me of as we receive, we are able to give. And then as we give it, we know that we fully received it, right? We know that we fully received that love from the angels and that devotion to the angels. And the devotion to being a channel of the of angel love. And so when we you make that devotion and then you get triggered, right? You get activated. Real life happens. Life happens. And sometimes it happens the minute after you devote, right? You're like, "All right, I'm feeling good." And then you get that email, right? That triggers you. Or your um kid, your your child or your or your spouse or your sister or someone says something that activates you. I know in my book one of the things I talk about is Crohn's disease and how, you know, I'm, I'm devoted to being a channel of unconditional love. I'm devoted to bringing the medicine of the angels here. And when I found out that I had Crohn's disease, I think it was at the, the end of 2019, I was so triggered. Oh my gosh. Like I went into that pattern of beating myself up, of, um, of being angry. Um, I was like angry that I had manifested this disease. I mean, there's all this stuff and all these emotions. I had a huge emotional response to that, to that wound, to that issue and the tissue. And that was breaking the promise, right? That was breaking. When I had that emotional response, that was breaking the promise. And that's okay, right? That's part of the human journey that we have that happen. And it's okay, right? Of course, I'm going to have an emotion. I'm a human being and I'm, I'm, you know, as an earth angel, I'm so sensitive, right? We, as earth angels, you're feeling energy beyond normal human limits. You're feeling energy and emotions so deeply. So yeah, I had a lot. And also those were some of the emotions that were stored in my gut, in my, um, in my bowels. So that was coming up for healing. And then the other part of breaking the vow, right? Breaking the breaking the sacred promise, which is like a vow. <laughs> breaking that sacred promise was, you know, feeling really emotional and then eating those trigger foods, right? Then eating that, eating from a space of emo emotional eating, right? So eating the sugar, or eating the dairy, or eating the gluten, which I know triggers that. Um, you know, that response, that, you know, that pain, that inflammation that's in my gut, you know, from Crohn's disease. And so that's breaking the, that's breaking the sacred promise, right? I'm devoted to taking care of myself and my body. And then I eat that trigger food, right? And so I've broken the promise, broken that sacred promise. And that's okay, right? That's all part of the journey. And the thing, thing the angels are reminding me of this right now and of course, my parts were afraid, right? Like I was afraid to have this disease. I was like, oh my gosh, like, and it, and it was very real. I was having a lot of pain and multiple different symptoms um, that of course were what led me to get the diagnosis and get treated and to get um, the diagnosis. And I, my parts were afraid and that was part of why I was having that emotional response. And then how was I dealing with that emotional response was through eating those trigger foods, right? So all of these ways that I was breaking that, that sacred promise of, of staying in the flow of my angel's love, of staying devoted to, to receiving love from my angels. And that's all okay, right? That's all part of the human journey. And as soon as I recognize, okay, I'm beating myself up, I'm eating these trigger foods, right? I'm triggered, right? <laughs> as soon as I recognized I was triggered, it was time to shift that. It was time to um, re-devote. And so when, on your journey, when the angels are reminding me of this and they said it twice, so they want me to say it right now, when fear is ready to release, it shows up as pain. And it's so helpful to know that, right? When your body is in pain, this is fear that's ready to release. 
And that's awesome. And how you can release that is by allowing yourself, by, by devoting and redevoting to, to receiving love from your angels. And so there was something else the angels were saying, yeah, you know, devotion, this idea of devotion, it's not about perfection, right? It's not about perfection. We're human. We're going to move through our day and break the vow a hundred times, break that promise a hundred times a day. It's about commitment. It's about staying, um, it's about devoting and redevoting. And it's just really that simple. And so there was something else the angels wanted to say about that that was felt important. And so, yeah, just knowing that your angels are devoted to you, they're devoted to your body, they're devoted to your healing. Hello, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Archangel Michael, for strengthening the um, Facebook Live beautiful um, broadband um, strength <laughs> so that it's a clear recording. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael. I know you're here. Um. And so, yeah, that was it. And there was something else, the angels, thank you, they reminded me. So here's what I think is cool about this devotional practice, about this breaking the sacred promise, right? We, we have this devotion, we have this commitment to being a channel of love from the angels, right? To receiving love from the angels, to embodying the benevolence of the divine. And we really, it's, it's, it's in our heart. We want that. And then as we move through our day, right, we get triggered, we get activated. So knowing, like being honest with yourself, this is self-honesty, that you've broken the vow, right? You've broken the promise, that sacred promise to yourself. <laughs> and all you have to do is re-devote, to recommit, to re-devote to receiving love from your angels. And here's what I think is really cool about that. Every single time you break the promise and you redevote, so you move through the love, pain, love cycle. Every time you move through the love, pain, love cycle, you strengthen your connection to your angels. So isn't that awesome, right? Every time you, you start to feel pain again and then you redevote, you reconnect, you strengthen that angelic connection. And I just think that's totally awesome. And I'm so glad the angels taught me that. And I'm so glad I get to share that with you today. So there's something else the angels were saying. Um, so yeah, you know, in, in this um, practice in my book, I start by um, sharing a story. Um, and I share my story about um, you know, how I got connected with my daily devotional practice, how I started to becoming devoted to receiving love from my angels and that journey to that. And then I shared the teachings about, you know, what is devotion? Um, you know, what is breaking the promise? What is breaking the sacred promise? I talk about, you know, how to choose your fuel. What is your fuel? And really how to create a daily devotional practice. And in, um, the class in my class next week at infinity, that's what we're going to be focused on. I'm going to be helping you create a daily devotional practice. I'll be sharing some teachings from this, from this practice in my book. And then I'm going to, we're going to do a beautiful meditation. We're going to talk about what is a daily devotional practice? How, what does it look like to receive love from your angels? How can you fit this into your life, right? So that you can heal whatever pain you're experiencing, whatever issue in the tissue you're experiencing, that you have a little, um, uh, a beautiful, I don't want to say format, it's like the right word, but a, it's really just a practice, right? So, and, and, and that's a, that's a big part of this, this, um, this practice that I talk about is your daily devotional practice, right? How you personally receive love from the angels and really helping you to, to, um, get clear about that. So that class is next Thursday, June 10th. Um, it's through Infinity Foundation, but it's over Zoom. It's 7 to 9 p.m. Central Time. It's, um, I'm so excited about it. It's $35. And you can register on my website, jillkempnerhealing.com, or on the Infinity Foundation website, um, um, infinityfoundation.org website. So, and then, you know, in, in this practice in my book, 
I, I talk I share the steps of this practice and this was something that has been so helpful in kind of grounding this medicine well okay so I want to be devoted to receiving love from my angels that's totally awesome I'm excited about that well how right how do well how do I right and so I go and I walk you through how to renew your devotion and one of the steps of and so the the last step of the practice right is breaking the breaking that sacred promise right um <clears throat> you you go through the steps you set state your devotion you set your intention you call on the archangels and um you know you welcome them here and then you break the promise and that's okay, right? This is part of being human is breaking the promise. It's part of your human journey. And, you know, they feeling the angels so strongly right now. Thank you, angels. Like, there's no judgment from the angelic realm, right? They have so much compassion for you and your journey. So much, um, you know, they're, they're, they never judge you. They never shame you. They never, um, you know, judge your pain, and anything that you're going through, there's just infinite, um, the infinite energy of compassion. Hello, welcome, flowing into your body, mind, and soul, your body, mind, and your heart to help you release pain and to help you reconnect, right? Redevote. And so, the what was I gonna say? The angels were saying, I know I started late, so my timing, I'm like thinking about the timing, I'm like, okay, yes, we're all good. So breaking the promise, right? Breaking the promise of receiving love from your angels. Breaking, hello, welcome. Hi, Angela, namaste. It, it, it is, is step five in this practice. And I, I, I walk you through what that looks like, right? I walk you through that. And it's inviting Archangel Sandalphon, who I'm gonna talk about just right now, just for a moment. Archangel Sandalphon, we're gonna do a little meditation in her journey with Archangel Sandalphon. Perfect timing, hello. Um, you know, recognize, basically breaking the promise is recognizing that you're triggered. Like I was talking about with the Crohn's disease. The moment I realized I was really angry about it, I knew I broke the promise, right? And know that I, also that was some of what was in there as well. So it was like letting myself feel what was stored in my body and allowing that to happen. Um, you know, and then I ate the, then I felt really bad. And so I ate the trigger food and that was breaking the promise, right? <laughs> And that's okay, right? So it's, you know, in this step of, of breaking the promise, you know, you recognize that you're triggered, right? You recognize, okay, I'm, I'm in pain again. I've broken the sacred promise. That's okay. All we have to do is redevote. And so you pause, you breathe, you place your hands over your heart, and you say, I am devoted to receiving love from my angels. And of course, Archangel Sandal funds it. We're going to do a little inner journey, inner journey with him. And that's it. That's how you redevote. <laughs> so breaking the promise is just, you know, again, devotion isn't about perfection. It's about commitment. It's about being committed, being devoted to receiving love from your angels over and over and over again. And every time you break that sacred promise, all you have to do is redevote. Every time you break that sacred promise, you strengthen your angelic connection. You move through the love, pain, love cycle. And this creates, this builds spiritual mastery. This creates miracles to move from love to pain and then back to love. I should pain down here if we want, right? Love, pain, and then back to love. That's how you build spiritual mastery. That's how you strengthen your angelic connection. That's how you can receive more love from your angels, right? And that's my whole medicine. That's what I'm here to help you do. So... One of the cool things that I share in my book that I'm that I really love that I'm excited about <clears throat> is that each step in all the four practices in my book, right? There's so many ways to receive love from your angels, but we're starting from the ground up, right? Building that foundation foundation of renewing your devotion. And here's the thing, thank you the angels are saying this. Remember, your angels are devoted to you. Every time you commit, every time you devote, I am devoted to receiving love from my angels. 
you're aligning your mind with divine mind. Your will, this is Amalekite, I'm wearing Malachite today, and it's align your will with divine will. You're aligning your will with divine will. You're receiving your angel's devotion for you, which strengthens your devotion, right? Which strengthens your, your inner your inner promise, right? Devotion is the sacred promise you make to yourself to take care of you. And I just absolutely love that. So thank you for reminding me of that, angels. Um, <clears throat> so beautiful Archangel. I want to do a little inner journey with Archangel Sandalphon. So what I was saying is that each step of each practice in my book has an Archangel prayer, has an invitation, right? Because we do, because we have free will, we need to invite the archangels to help us. And um, what was very kind of fun, at first I had a part that was like, well, what if I'm wrong? Or what if I make a mistake when I was figuring out which angel went with each step? But once I kind of let that go and I just really trusted, okay, the angels want to help you. The angels want to help you heal pain. The angels want to help you heal your body. And really trusting where the archangels, you know, connected with each step Archangel Sandalvon, the angel of gentleness, the angel of your earth star chakra, the angel of devotion, right? He's one of the angels of self-devotion, the angel who carries your prayers, your carries your prayers from the earth to the heavens. Is the angel, is the angel in this step breaking the sacred promise? And I just realized, so what he was saying, Archangel Sandalvon, is that the more gentle you are with yourself when you break the vow, when you break that promise, the easier it is to redevote. And I am on a total journey of self-compassion right now, a total journey of gentleness and releasing that inner harshness, releasing that self-punishment, releasing that beating myself up. Because what I used to do, and I think a lot of you can relate as earth angels, like I used to beat myself up when I would break the promise. Like, oh my God, here's that pain. I'm totally in my shoulders killing me again. Oh, I just feel so bad. Like whatever, whether it was my thoughts, whether it was toxic, like toxic or suppressed emotions, you know, I were giving myself a public flogging. Like I would beat myself up about it. And of course that's breaking the promise. But that would compound the pain. That would make the pain I was feeling so much worse, right? It was like, I'm in pain. And instead of having compassion and, and, and redevoting, I was beating myself up. So for me, Archangel Sandalphon was the perfect angel to help you redevote, to help you redevote with gentleness, with self compassion. Um, and so we're going to do a little inner journey, a short inner journey right now to connect with Archangel Sandalphon. And in that inner journey, I'll be sending Angel Reiki and then I'll pull a few cards and we'll be done. And like I said, we got started a little late, so we'll run over a little bit from my normal <laughs> plan, but that's okay. It's all divine. Okay, my dear, so excited to welcome Archangel Sandalphon here. And I'm realizing I don't have a picture of him right now, but that's okay. <laughs> So closing your eyes, just taking a few cleansing breaths in and out. Reconnecting with your roots of light deep in the earth. And reconnecting with your beautiful heart space. Thank you, thank you. And Archangel Sandalphon is the angel Beautiful angel. I'm really, thank you angels. I'm actually guided to read his, his beautiful prayer. I wasn't sure if I would and then I heard him say that. So I'm going to read his prayer that I created for this practice. So I feel Archangel Sandalphon's beautiful presence here. And of course your guardian angels are here. Your soul is here. Your soul is in charge of this healing. And Archangel Sandalphon is very close in your energy field. And he's guiding you into your awareness of your earth star chakra. So he's starting there and he's like guiding you to drop your awareness, your attention into your earth star chakra temple. So that's 18 inches is 10 to 18 inches below your feet. It's sort of the bottom edge of your aura down into the earth so it's below the earth yeah and see how your roots of light go 
from your root chakra through the earth star all the way to the heart of the earth. And he's just pouring in this beautiful energy of gentleness. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh, and then it's like the energy is so cool. The energy of gentleness that's that's pouring into your earth star chakra is releasing what he's saying is ancient pain, ancestral pain, karmic pain. It's really cool. So just, and there's nothing to do. You're just receiving this healing, this activation. So you can see yourself in your earth star temple, in your earth star chakra temple. And he's calling forth that part of you that needs love right now, the part of you that's in pain. And we welcome his presence here. Thank you, Archangel Sandalphon, for bringing me the medicine of gentleness, grounding, and self-devotion into my aura and my earth star chakra. I lovingly invite Archangel Sandalphon's gentleness to support this part that's in pain. Thank you for helping me ground my soul into my body <laughs> and my body to the earth so I can re-devote with gentleness. Allow Archangel Sandalphon's turquoise light and the angels of gentleness, the angels of grounding, the angels of self-devotion to surround you now. And this part that's in pain, so whether the pain is emotional pain like anger or guilt or judgment or harshness, whether it's physical pain like tension in your back or your shoulders, you're letting that part, it's so beautiful, I haven't quite seen it like this before, I love it, to, to reside in the, the healing temple of your earth star chakra. And there's all this gentleness and ba I'm hearing balance and healing energy just flowing into this part. It's so beautiful. And Sandalphon invites you to place your hands over your heart. So inviting this part of you, this part that's in pain, this part that is feeling the wound, the issue in the tissue, inviting this part to re-devote. And so there's all this love, unconditional love, unconditional compassion, unconditional gentleness flowing into your earth star, earth star chakra temple, into this part that's there receiving all this healing. It's like a sacred, this beautiful sacred space deep in the earth. Often I've seen this chakra like the yin yang symbol. So that's okay if you see that. That's just honor your intuition, trust, trust, trust. And so beginning just by stating your devotion, I am devoted to receiving love from my angels. Letting your heart open to your angels' love. I am devoted to receiving, and I'm hearing loving pain relief from my angels. Aligning your mind with divine mind. And one more time, I am devoted to receiving loving pain relief from my angels. And letting yourself receive your angel's devotion for you while you're in the, this beautiful Earth Star Chakra Temple, which is so amazing. Let your body relax. Relax and cherish your body. Physical relaxation. Softening your muscles from your bones, emotional relaxation, room for all of you, all of your parts. Breathing and welcoming mental relaxation. Space between your thoughts. There's nothing to do, nothing to fix, nothing to change, just to be. Spiritual relaxation. All of this is happening in... It's like Archangel Sandalphon is this amazing presence around you of gentleness, of devotion, of grounding. It's like so grounding. 
In your Earth Star Temple, we welcome spiritual relaxation. So surrendering into the arms of your angels, trusting you're exactly where you're meant to be. And this beautiful release. So release and lead with your heart. Just let go. Let this part. Feel the releasing. Your body may, your emotions may rise and fall. Your body may feel like it needs to move or twitch or shudder. So feel the energy releasing down into the earth. You might also feel it releasing up and out through your heart or through your crown toward the alchemy of your angel's love. So you're safe to release, release, release. Oh, so in, in the same time, you're receiving gentleness. You're receiving this next level of devotion. This next level of, of consciousness about your devotion to receiving love from your angels. It's so cool. At the same time as you're releasing. So just breathe. Let yourself receive this gentleness. And really trusting, I'm hearing Archangel Sandalphon say, hand your prayer, your pain relief prayer to me. So thank you, Archangel Sandalphon, for healing this pain in my, in my gut. I'm going to use my prayer. Thank you for healing my bowels, my ilium. With gentleness, with compassion, with unconditional love, so I can shine more of my light. That's what I'm hearing. And whatever your prayer is, I'm, I'm feeling him he, hearing your prayer and knowing that your prayer is heard and answered. So receiving a final blessing of gentleness, of grounding, of self-devotion from Archangel Sandalphon. I see him kneel down in front of you, placing his hands, Archangel Sandalphon's hands on your feet. And really just knowing how safe you are to be in your body, how safe you are to shine your light, how safe you are to devote and redevote. And then he bows to you. He's got all of your prayers in this beautiful sacred vessel that he's carrying to the divine, carrying to source. And Archangel Michael here sealing your aura. Archangel Ariel, beautiful Ariel. Just opening your heart wider. And she fills you with unconditional compassion. And then Archangel Metatron, so all the angels of Renew Your Devotion are here. Archangel Metatron up at the stellar at, at the stellar gateway chakra. So he's there's this beautiful activation. We've had a beautiful activation of our stellar, of our, of our earth star chakra. And now this, this connection to your stellar gateway chakra, the highest point of your aura. So the lowest point of your aura and the highest point of your aura. Open to receiving love from your angels. Open to your next level of self-devotion. And what is so powerful, what our Metatron saying is, and what Sandalphon is saying, they're both kind of in unison saying, every time you break the promise, we are here. We have your back. So powerful. And Metatron's cube flowing down your center channel from the, the cellar gateway to the soul star to your causal crown. This beautiful cube of light through your third eye, your ears, your throat, your heart. Metatron's cube through your solar plexus, navel, sacral, root, and all the way to the earth star. And then down to the heart of the earth. So just cleanse, that final cleansing. <clears throat> yeah, anything else, angels? Wow, that was so awesome. So bringing your hands to prayer mudra. As we bow to each other, bow to your angels, see and feel your beautiful angels bow to you. And just before we seal this inner journey, they reminded me because they're so wise and I know they have my back to disengage your roots from the group. So inhale and draw your roots back from the collective, from the group energy here. 
on your inhale and then exhale, send your roots directly into the center of the earth, the Andean Emerald Heart of the Earth. And there's a personal cozy just for you there. Beautiful. And we seal this inner journey with a namaste. Namaste, everyone. Okay, that was amazing. That was so awesome. <laughs> I totally uh, was able to do just that beautiful downloads of inner journey. No plan with that. Um, I just totally trust the angels to, to lead the way. And I'm so glad that that was recorded so you can reconnect with that. So amazing. I want to pull some cards for you. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm just sending you so much love in this really powerful transformational time and inviting you to join me next week, next Thursday night through infinity to talk more about this renew your devotion practice and actually really get clear about what your practice looks like. What does it look like for you to receive love from your angels? We're going to talk about devotion. We're going to talk about choosing your fuel. We're going to talk about the, your daily devotional practice, how, how that looks. Um, really getting just some soulful insights about that, some angelic downloads about that. And it just happens to be, didn't exactly actually consciously plan this, but I know my soul did, on the new moon solar eclipse. So next Thursday, June 10th from 7 to 9 p.m. Central Time, I am going to be talking all about renewing your devotion, which feels really cool because I feel like you know, the new moon is new beginnings. It's renewal, right? So it's the perfect day to renew your devotion. And if you don't know anything about this, if you've never consciously received love from your angels, this is the perfect class and, um, and, and workshop to be a part of. So you can register on my website. It's $35 now, jillkempnerhealing.com or on the infinityfoundation.org website. And I have a little three-minute video that talks about that class. Um, I really felt my soul... And the angels wanting to talk about breaking the sacred promise and really focus on that today because that's a part of um, it's a part of understanding what your daily devotional practice looks like. So I'm gonna pull a card for you. Um, where's my other deck? It's right here. So how is it that you are um, <clears throat> renewing your devotion? How is it with beautiful guardian angels? So this is a guardian angel. This is what your guardian angels are saying about how you can renew your devotion today, tomorrow, this weekend. Okay, this is it. Raise your vibration. I love this card. I really think this kind of looks like Kyle Gray. I always say, I'm like, this is kind of Kyle Gray. You know, this is his deck. So this is about, I literally, I love this card. I love that we got raise your vibration because that's, what your daily devotional practice does for you. That's what renewing your devotion does, right? You are going through your day, you know, you're feeling your angel's love, and then you get triggered, right? You, you get triggered, you're in pain, you're in fear, you're in anger, whatever it is. You've broken that promise, right? You've broken that promise to yourself. <clears throat> and all you have to do is redevote to raise your vibration, right? And the, and the higher our vibration is, the easier it is to receive love from your angels. So of course your angels are saying, think about, I just, I never thought about it like this, but it makes so much sense. Think about when renewing your devotion as, a, as an opportunity to raise your vibration so that you can stay in the flow of your angels' love, right? That you can recommit and that every time, right? You go through that love, pain, love cycle, right? From love to pain to love, you're, you're, you're raising your vibration, right? So you think about it from that mindset. So I love that the angels wanted to bring that message in today. And I'm going to be, um, pull a beautiful angel prayer. I'm going to drink some water. Um, <clears throat> hello, welcome. So how is it that you feel that you're ready to um, take your devotion to the next level. That's what I'm hearing. Just devoted, so devoted to receive. So you're like the next level of your devotion. That's the prayer right here. <gasps> the miracle of nature. Thank you angels for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. Oh my gosh. The first thing I heard is when you go outside, you raise your vibration. When you step outside, the moment you step outside, your energy field, your aura can expand to its fullest height, width, and length. And this allows your, the angels to clear your aura, 
and it allows the angels to give you more clear messages. So of course they're saying, get outside. It's gonna be, well, it's gonna be a little hot this weekend, but it's gonna be beautiful, right? Wherever you are, you could be anywhere in the country, right? And make the time to um, allow nature and the energy of nature and the energy of the trees. And now we have the bees and the flowers and all of that <clears throat> to raise your vibration. And, and there's something about there's clear, what they're saying is there's clarity about what your, what devotion looks like for you. Right. And, and, and the gentleness of, of, when you break the promise to yourself and just redevote, right? Just redevote. And every time you redevote, you strengthen your angelic connection. So it's a win win. All right, my dears, I love you so much. Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you for your patience with getting started a little later with our um, uh, uh, Facebook Live. I know Mercury Retrograde was uh, coming in. So hopefully, this is a clear, um, beautiful communication. And if you are interested in going a little deeper, if you're interested in opening up your intuition if you have a um a physical issue in the tissue that you would like some support if um you know some support with some some extra healing energy um i invite you to coach with me to coach privately with me um go to my website jillkemptnerhealing.com to the start here tab and um read about a breakthrough conversation this is a free one hour session where i help you get clear about the source of your pain and you know what that issue in the tissue is right the source of it and really share your customized angelic pain relief plan share the details of my coaching programs with you you know at the as an angel professional um you know i take you on a journey a journey of opening up your intuit i no longer do individual sessions i have three month coaching program a six month coaching program and a group coaching program the angel love circle um which i would be happy to share that energy and information with you so i hope to see you soon have a beautiful truthful thursday um mercury retrograde and uh weekend. I'll see you soon. Namaste and love, Jill. Bye everyone. <laughs> Thank you.